Today I'm going to talk about what to look for when buying a new laptop. Generally there's three categories that you need to decide about your laptop and you can really only choose two of them. Uh, there's the price of it, like cheap or expensive, performance, like just bottom of the barrel or super fast, and then your weight, like if you want a like really light laptop like an Ultrabook or if you don't mind having it uh, a bit heavy. And you can only choose two of these. That's because if you want a really light laptop that's really fast, then it's going to be really expensive because they have to cram all this good stuff in this really thin shell and it's very expensive to like really get it small and be able to uh, manage the heat really well and stuff like that. So then if you want a light laptop that is at a low price, then you're going to have to sacrifice some performance for it because what they're going to do is they're going to put cheap components in there that don't generate a lot of heat and then it makes it very simple to uh, to make the laptop light. And then if you don't really care about the weight, like if you don't mind a huge laptop that you're lugging around like on a trolley cart, uh, then you're going to get it for a pretty good price while it being really fast. So you need to decide what is really important to you. Like really the first thing to think about is the weight. Like you want your price range, but first you need to think about your weight. Like do you need a really light laptop or do you not care if you have a heavy laptop? And if you don't care if you have a heavy laptop, then these two become a lot easier. If you really, really need a light laptop, or even medium range, then it's going to be harder to find one that's fast and at a good price. So, like, I have a 17-inch laptop, it's the Dell Inspiron 17R Special Edition, and it's heavy. Like, it is a heavy laptop. I didn't realize how heavy it would be when I switched from my 15 to the 17, and I found that I don't mind, but it is significant, and for some people it'd be a really big deal. So what I'd suggest is going to Best Buy and just testing out the weight of some of the 15 inch laptops and the 13 inches versus the 17 inches. Don't buy at Best Buy, ever. They're just terrible. If anything happens, then regardless of what brand you buy, they're going to have to send out your laptop for like a month to get it fixed. So it's just not a good situation, they're very unhelpful. So Go there to look at laptops, but never ever buy from there. But that will get you an idea of what you're looking for in weight and size of what you really want. So then, uh, once you've decided on your weight, then you can decide on your price. So if you want a really low weight laptop, then you're going to have to decide which you're going to sacrifice, performance or price. If you decided you want, you don't care about weight, then you can have both of these. But uh, So then I'll show you a bit here on the different prices of laptops and why they vary so much. What you're going to notice here is, uh, this is actually the Dell Outlet Store, this is where they like sell laptops that are slightly refurbished or had a problem they had to fix something. Uh, and usually you can get laptops for a bit better price here than on the regular store. But what I did here was I just opened up like the main search with all their laptops and then I just selected dedicated graphics. And you notice now, the, I have it sort of priced low to high, they start at $860. That's because your video card is what you're really buying when you buy an expensive laptop. So you're really going to have two price points. You're going to have a price point with integrated graphics and then dedicated graphics. Dedicated graphics make gaming a lot better, but it also generates a lot of heat and will make your battery life a lot worse. So you have some trade-offs there, but that's really what you're paying for in an expensive laptop versus a cheap laptop. So you notice these start at $860, where the integrated graphics card laptops let's wait for that to go away, which I have on this uh, screen, they start at $370. Now you notice the processor ne isn't nearly as good and it doesn't have a, as good other components, but even the, uh, like if you get the same stuff as this one, so like this one has a Core i5 and uh, 4 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive, if you got the same with integrated graphics, it's probably going to be about $600 versus this $860. So it's a pretty significant price jump. So after you've decided what you want here, uh, then you have to decide that. Like, if you don't have much money to spend, like if you're in the $400 range, sorry, but you're going to have to get integrated graphics. Unless you get really lucky and find a great deal, you're not going to get a dedicated graphics card, regardless of if you want one or not. Uh, if you're more in the $600 to $800 range, then you should be set, like, you can, $600 is, like, really the minimum that you'll find one with a dedicated graphics card, like an NVIDIA GeForce or a uh, AMD Radeon. That's really going to be the minimum, it's like $600, and then it just goes up from there. Then, after that, they all have dedicated graphics, unless you're going for a really, like, light Ultrabook. So then, uh, 
after you've decided if you're going to have a dedicated graphics card or a integrated, you can decide on your processor. Uh, the processor is the second most important thing and it's what's going to affect the price the second most amount. Really a Core i5 is where you're going to get your best price uh, for performance ratio and like in general unless you unless you know you need a Core i7 then a Core i5 is going to do just fine for you. Like if you're thinking that you need it for games you really don't. Like the bottleneck is going to be your video card regardless. As long as you have a Core i5 or above your frame rate is not going to change. Like if you have a Core i5 or a Core i7 it's going to be pretty much the same because your video card is what's really slowing you down anyway. So uh, look for a Core i5 in general, even if you're getting integrated graphics, uh, try and get the cheapest Core i5 laptop you get, because that's really going to be a bump up to like mid-range laptop. But if you're really, really thinking about price, Core i3 is just fine for everyday daily use, like uh, using uh, Microsoft Word and internet browsing. Core i3 is just fine. Uh, I would stay away from anything that's just like Intel Pentium, like a Celeron processor. They're not great. Uh, I would really spring for Core i3 at the lowest. Uh, so then, once you've kind of decided on your video card, like if you're going to have dedicated or integrated, and then you decided what range uh, processor you're going to get and what price range, you can head over to Newegg, and then you can start searching there for uh, like a laptop that really fix, fits your price range and specs. So if you go to Newegg, uh, like Newegg is great, they have a great return policy, they have great prices, they're just a really good company, so I would recommend buying from them, unless you're buying directly from Dell, or uh, if you're getting an Apple laptop, then I'd recommend buying directly from Apple. So when you're at Newegg, you can go to PCs and Laptops, and then go to Laptops and Notebooks, and actually uh, Apple laptops will show up in the Newegg search as well, so if you're wondering about those, then you can see their price performance ratio as well. Because Macs are actually good computers, they have good hardware, they're just a little overpriced in my opinion, and there is no like entry level, like there is no $300 laptop from uh, from Apple, so you're really going to pay for what you get. So then if you hit laptops and notebooks again there, then you can see all these search options on the side, it, but it doesn't really give us enough. So there's actually a more options tab right there. So when you click that, it's going to give you the real options that you want to look for a laptop by, so you can see what you can afford in your price range. So it has the price slider right here, and let's just say I'm spending $600 to $800 on a laptop. So if I slide this starting to, at the 550 mark, you want to start a little higher, a little lower than uh, what your actually like minimum is going to be in case there's a great deal like right below what you want to spend. And then I would drag this down to like absolute maximum. So like, let's say you're spending 600 to 800. So I'm going to put it like 850. Let's try 889. Whatever. We'll leave it there. So then your screen size is what's going to really determine your weight. So you can get a light 17-inch uh, laptop, but it's going to be pretty hard to find. So usually if you want a light laptop, you're going to go with a 15 or a 13. And if you don't care about the heaviness of it, then you can go with a 17. Unless you just you don't mind it being smaller, like you can just leave it as anything if you don't care really what it is. But if you want a big gaming laptop, go with a 17. They're awesome. If you want something a bit lighter, go with a 13 or a 15. So we're going to just say that I don't care what size it's going to be. So we're going to start at 12 and go to a 17 point, seven, leave it 17.3 because that's what your biggest like normal laptop is going to be. So then we can set the options down here of like the type, uh, actually we don't need to mess with that. Um, the first one is the GPU, or the graphic type here. So with graphic type you're going to select whether what you decided earlier for dedicated card or integrated card. And that's going to be a really big price point identifi identifier. And you can see that there's 38, it's 36 laptops with dedicated graphics in my price range of uh, 589 to 889. So I'm going to select dedicated, just kind of show you what we're looking for here. And now that the, now I've narrowed it down to 36 laptops that are in my price range that have a dedicated graphics card. And you'll notice some of these have NVIDIA, some of them have uh, AMD Radeon video cards. You can look up the specs of either versus any others, but uh, they're all just pretty good in general. I'm not going to get too deep into it because that's a whole other world, world of explanation. Uh, after that, you can select your CPU uh, 
your CPU type. If you really need a Core i7, then you can select it. You'll see that most of them here are a Core i7, but there are some of the Core i5s, and those are going to be the cheaper laptops. Like you see, this one has a Core i7, and it's $870, while this one has a Core i5, and it's $630. But this one has a much better video card, so you're going to see some differences there. Um, then uh, you can also select the weight on here, like if you really cared about the weight, then that's an option right here. And then, uh, like body style, like thin and light would be your ultrabooks. And that's how you really want to go about selecting what you want for your laptop. Uh, once you've really narrowed it down to a few, then shop around for it. Newegg is great, um, and Tiger Direct is pretty good. I'll put links to all these companies in the bottom. But uh, that's generally the things you want to look for when buying a new laptop. You can leave a comment on my video and ask me if any laptop is a good buy or whatever, and I'll, I'll get back to you. But uh, also, check out promotional codes. Like, you can just Google promotional codes, like, for Dell. I do it all the time. If you go to google.com and then go Dell promotional codes. These are great. These have hundreds of dollars. And I have another video on how to save money online, and uh, so I'll link you to it. But, like, this can save you so much money. Retail Me Not is really good. And you can see that there's just all these codes here that can get you, like, several hundred dollars off of laptops, like $400 off and free shipping on XPS 15 laptops. So check here first. People will comment on it, like, tell you if it works or not. Uh, so, but generally that's how to get the best deal on a, or find out what you're really looking for for a laptop.